So I was just at Costco and I was sitting in my car, minding my own business, answering texts from clients. And I felt a bang on the side of my car. And the woman beside me was filling her car with things from her cart. Her cart had smashed into the side of my car. I opened the door and I kindly said, excuse me, um, could you take your cart off of my car? I didn't say it so terse like that. I said, could you take your cart off of my car? Thanks. And she went, oh, sorry. Yeah, thank you. So, so sorry about that. I thought we were good. I was going to leave it there. I thought we were good. I waited for her to finish filling her car with her stuff, watched her put her cart away. I got out of my car and I started walking towards Costco. Just as I had my back turned to her and I was far enough away, she yelled, should I scratch it now? Now I've had plenty, plenty of opportunity to learn how to deal with high conflict people, but the Costco bunch are <laughs> special. Now in my body, I'm trembling because I'm activated. And I looked back at her and we made eye contact and she got in her car and she sat there for a few minutes and I stood there for a few minutes thinking, what would Angela do? <laughs> then I realized I am Angela. So I immediately jumped into documentation mode as I always do. And I whipped out my camera and I took a picture of her license plate just in case she followed through on her threat to scratch the shit out of my car. And when she pulled out of the parking spot and she left, I started walking towards Costco, breathing, trying to calm down. And the guy who was beside her in his car pulled up beside me. He pulled out of his spot and pulled up beside me, rolled his windows down and said, are you okay? And I said, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. And he goes, she almost hit my car because she was so mad at you. She almost hit my car with her door. And I asked her, please, it's windy, make sure you don't hit my car. And she then lashed out at him and said, oh, you're going to be just like that bee over there. So he got the whole story from both sides. The point to this story is just because you are kind and you ask for somebody to respect a boundary doesn't mean they're going to and doesn't mean you're going to get kindness in return from that person. But what I saw today reminded me that complete strangers will see who the problem is if you behave appropriately.